So I put out a video uh, with uh, some interactions with a guy named Darth Dawkins the other day, and I guess he saw it, and he was unhappy with it, or unhappy with me, I should say. And I may not be invited to his birthday party next year. Let's get into it. Mr. Anderson. Hello, my name is Mr. Anderson, and I'm mean to people on the internet. I'm always very polite about it, though. I just tend to ask difficult questions and insist on the answers. Probably not a big surprise, because I'm a lawyer. On my channel, you'll find a lot of stuff to do with debate. Um, I, uh, I do a lot of, like, technique breakdowns where I talk about how to use the skills that we use as lawyers to... Uh, uh, and adapt them for sort of regular debates so that you can kind of use some of those uh, some of those things in your own debates. Um, and I do a lot of like breakdowns of other people's debates where, you know, we analyze them together and we talk about where you could do better and, you know, where you could apply different things. And of course, I post a bunch of my own debates so that you can see that the things that I say should be working actually do work, uh, you know, in real life against resisting opponents. Now, I posted one such uh, interaction recently with this guy named Darth Dawkins, and he apparently really, really didn't like it, um, and has been going on rants in, uh, in these public chat rooms, uh, and we were fortunate enough to, uh, uh, to catch a recording of one such by my friend and fellow YouTuber, uh, Breakfast Tacos, who I will link in the description. Uh, and so Taco was able to uh, capture this um, uh, angry rant about me uh, and we can we can see what um, um, Darth Dawkins actually thinks about uh, uh, about our interactions let's have a look I just wanted to let you know that Darth Dawkins does not like Mr. Anderson yeah not, not, he is there's something wrong with this guy okay. he is he's, he's not even your normal atheist He's such a pathological liar, right? Now, I want to remind you that previously, Darth Dawkins had said this about me. Because on a scale of 1 to 10 of all the atheists that I've dealt with over 14 years, you're, you're at about an 8.9, if not a 9 out of 10, in terms of being deceptive and evasive while pretending you're being transparent in your answers. Well, does that mean that we can bump my 8.9 up to maybe like a, a 9.2 on the most horrible... A atheist that you've ever interacted with scale I think we should he did he did a video saying oh I'm gonna show you how to respond to people who evade questions which is precisely what he did uh, almost the whole time in our first encounter uh, to the point where I just had to, uh, to, to mute him because he would stop uh, evading the questions basically didn't watch that video then did you and then the next uh, time I encountered him, I said, do you want to apologize for, um, you know, purposely evading my questions? So first off, that was never going to happen for two reasons. Number one, I'm not going to admit to doing something wrong when I didn't do anything wrong. And I didn't lie. And you know what? I wasn't even being evasive. I was being pretty responsive with you. As I've said before on a number of occasions, you just really suck at trying to draw informations out of information out of people, even when they're not fighting you. Don't put that on me. Number two, you were never going to talk to me no matter what I said. Like, even if I had said that I was a liar, which I wasn't, then what you would have said is, well, if you're an admitted liar, then I'm not going to talk to you. It's like it's a trap. It's just kind of a, it's just a way for you to pop smoke and get the heck out of there without having to talk to, you know, somebody and answer difficult questions. Let's not kid ourselves. And he just outright lied and said that he wasn't. Yeah, he lies. So, I mean, so I mean, this this guy, he's he's not just a lying atheist. He's he's cringe. He's he's totally cringe. Hi, maybe nine point two is a little modest. Let's bump that up to nine point. I don't know. Let's call nine point five, shall we? All right. And then he has the balls to do one of those AI uh, images, mocking me. You know, showing you know some fat overweight uh person in a in a darth vader costume I, I guess trying to you know disparage me um running away from what appears to be some creature or something i guess i, I guess that's supposed to be him you know initially when i saw this i thought huh, i hit a nerve good um 
but then somebody in the comments sort of said sort of echoed what he was saying and said like kind of kind of feels like you're taking a shot at like heavy people in general and i i thought about that and i went you know just because Darth Dawkins is, you know, a rude and, you know, generally disagreeable person, and most of what he says is wrong, doesn't mean that he's always wrong. And this, I think, might be one of those reasons, one of those situations where the fallacy fallacy applies. I think he might be right. You know, I, when I made that um, thumbnail, I wasn't, I didn't intend, you know, as I think about it, I didn't intend to, you know, make a dig at heavy people like the point was to sort of make it uh make the point that you know this he, darth dawkins likes to pretend that he is you know like richard dawkins and darth vader and he's actually neither of those two people and so the idea was to you know make it a person who's clearly dressing up as darth vader and not the real darth vader and that that's who is running from me but um when I look at it with fresh eyes, I think it does read as if I'm taking a shot at heavy people in general, um, or that I am mocking Darth Dawkins for his appearance rather than for the odious things that he says. And, you know, I look down on Darth Dawkins for the latter, not the former. So um, I have decided to change the thumbnail uh, from this to this and so that's what you'll see uh going forward because yeah you know what i don't intend to uh, uh i don't intend to disparage people for their appearances um and i don't think that people who are heavy have anything to be ashamed of so you know what we'll take that one as a solid point and we'll try and do better in the future the uh character um that's chasing him by the way yeah that's supposed to be me that is the pig snake which uh, was a moniker hung on me by uh, another uh, debater when he was when he was, when his feelings were hurt that um, that he was losing debates, you know. And then he, he finally uploads at least a portion of the first inter in interaction. I mean, the fact that he, well, first of all, he didn't upload it to begin with. Then when I exposed the fact that he didn't upload it, right? And I said, yeah, for good reason, you didn't upload it because it shows your evasion. And so in order to counter my charge, he, he uploads the video. He's such a bullshitter. You know, okay. You see, this is, see, this is the thing. Certain types of academic training can help you in debate. And even uh, graduating from law school can give you a significant advantage in terms of debating. Okay. You know, what's funny is this is an example of Darth Dawkins pretending at knowledge that he clearly doesn't have because... You know, common misconception, actually, but that's not really true. Generally speaking, um, these skills that I've been talking about are not things that are taught in law school. In law school, they teach you about the law. They teach you, you know, criminal law, torts, administrative law, constitutional law. Um, and you learn about how to analyze the law and, you know, build, like, uh, uh, legal arguments and build cases and, and pick arguments out of case law they do not teach you how to do cross-examination or i mean it varies from law school to law school right maybe maybe some law schools might have like one course that touches on it but like in terms of you know the in-depth practical experience and you know knowledge that you would need in order to be able to do what i'm showing you guys how to do you don't learn that in law school you learn that from being a trial lawyer for a long time so you know, yeah, no, you're wrong. But what he doesn't realize is he really doesn't even have an informal education, which doesn't require very much in metaphysics and philosophy and theology. So he's at a distinct disadvantage. So because he can't defend himself uh, metaphysically, he resorts to these kinds of deceptive antics. This is another one of my favorite parts because, you know, wrong again, Darth. First of all, do you think I went to law school right out of uh, high school? Because it didn't. I have an undergraduate degree. And guess what kind of courses, among others, I took my undergrad degree. I took some philosophy courses. So I do have some formal training in philosophy, big cat. Mm, oops. That's kind of number one. 
Number two, as far as I know, you're self-taught when it comes to philosophy. So I don't think you have much of a leg to stand on when it comes to throwing around philosophical concepts. Um, you know, even if I didn't have any formal education with respect to philosophy, which I do, uh, you know, you and I will be on a level playing field, not a tilted one in your favor. But then thirdly, you know what the law kind of is? It's sort of applied philosophy. Like, you know, the law is in many ways kind of codified and structured ethics, right? So like, and you know, I'm not usually one to pull rank on you, uh, here buddy but you started it so i mean look fact of the matter is i kind of do philosophy every day and uh you know i got you got 14 years worth of in you know uh, uh where you got 14 years worth of experience at you know doing this kind of stuff at an amateur level and i have years of doing this stuff at a professional level so you know i think i'm pretty well equipped and i don't need to re uh, uh resort to deceptive antics um, cause the, uh, the techniques that I'm employing here, they're not deceptive. They're fair and they have to be because you use them in courtrooms under the watchful eye of a judge whose job is to make sure that the things that you're doing are fair at every step of the way. So, you know, I, yeah, I, I wouldn't learn and I wouldn't use deceptive antics because they won't work. The stuff that I'm telling people to do and that I'm doing to you does work. And I think that might actually be why you're angry you know i actually think that when darth says uh that somebody is being deceptive uh, or dishonest i think what he means is that um is that i'm dishonest because i'm denying the truth that i know in my heart which of course is that darth is right and by failing to agree with him that's dishonest because I'm denying that truth of his own righteousness. I think that I think that's where that actually stems from. So I think he actually believes it when, you know, he gets stymied and he can't make a point and he, you know, starts to lose an argument and uh you know, that's when he'll always come out with you're dishonest, you're dishonest. Yeah, Darth, I don't agree with you and you are unable to convince me or anybody who's listening. Um the only thing about that is that you might actually be wrong, A, and B, you just are incapable of making a cogent point. And that ain't my fault either. The, the guy's an asshat. Okay? Doesn't matter. He keeps on going, I'm a lawyer, I'm a lawyer, I'm a lawyer, I'm a lawyer. Have you ever noticed how he's constantly telling everybody he's a lawyer? Yeah. Who cares? Who cares that you're a lawyer? So what? I think you know, also when somebody constantly, when somebody is constantly talking, to, does he have an inferiority complex that he has to remind us he graduated law school? Yeah, I, I, I know some people who graduated law school and they're not very smart. Okay. You just have to have a certain degree of smartness where, you know, you, you, you can memorize things. Like, I know I don't really need to respond to this stuff point by point, but, like, this is kind of fun because, like, wrong again, big cat? No, that's not true. In fact, that is definitely something that I thought going into law school was, like, hey, I'm good at memorizing stuff. Because, like, in your undergrad and in high school, too, you know, like, being able to memorize stuff, having a good memory will get you a long way. And I had lots of, like, tricks to, like, memorize lots of stuff. And you know what? <laughs> Didn't help at all in law school because a lot of those law school exams they're open book and even when they're not like law school exam questions actually have way more to do with your ability to like identify the common threads within a fact pattern and then like pull elements from a bunch of other different fact patterns to like build an argument that applies specifically to that and in that sense like it doesn't really help you to be able to memorize stuff because the thing that you like the answer isn't something that you could memorize it's something that you need to build on the spot and it's a completely different skill set and it's something that you have to learn so you know if you know a bunch of lawyers i, I mean it sounds like they might not be very good ones or it, it sounds like maybe you, you don't actually know you know any lawyers that that you would actually talk to about this stuff and you'll 
also, like, law school was a long time ago for me. But, he, look, if, if the guy was as smart as he thinks he is, he wouldn't have behaved like a, the asshat that he is. You know what's weird is Darth's bringing up this idea of, like, look how smart he's telling you, you know, he is. Look at how much he talks about going to law school. Like, go back and watch that original video and, and, and see, you know, when it is that I mention, like, oh, I'm a lawyer and I went to law school. Because, like, that entire first interaction, I didn't bring it up. Because it doesn't matter, right? It's you against me on this subject, and that's all I'm going to talk about. I mean, I mention it in my introduction because it's useful to sort of frame, like, if somebody, if it's their first time coming to my channel, then I need an introduction to kind of tell them, like, what it is they're looking at and, you know, why they should care what I have to say. Um, but beyond that, I mean, unless it's relevant to the discussion, you know why I don't really bring it up. Um, he sure as heck does. Uh, and, you know, I'm not saying I'm smarter than anybody. Um, I have a certain set of skills. Does anyone okay. know if Does anyone know if Mr. Anderson uh, posted his first conversation with Darth? Yeah, he, he he did not, but it was. It, there's portions of it that are missing. Really? So he edited. Yeah. He heavily edited it. Well, it it seemed that way to me. I can't I can't confirm that to you absolutely, but it doesn't seem like it's a whole thing. Guys, it's effectively the whole thing. I mean, you know, I cut out a little bit at the beginning where it's like, "Hi, how are you? Yeah, I've heard of you," and you know, oh that sort of thing but i mean once we get into it like it's it's just an uncut feed so um you know right until the end of the conversation when he mutes me um and then even after he mutes me i i still played you know portions of that so you know no it's it's not heavily edited um and i think the other two if i remember correctly are uh from the point we start talking to the point he mutes me uh, you got pretty much the whole thing you guys no that's just uh, not true. Sorry. But there's enough there where you can clearly see that he's just being evasive. The guy, the guy's an extremely deceptive, um, uh, person. Extremely deceptive. What do you guys think? We bumped that up to, uh, do you think, do you think we get to 10? Do you think we get to 10? Let's do, let's do 9.8. 9 there's always room for improvement, right? Let's do nine point eight. He's I very assumed, smarmy. Yeah. I assumed he, he would it. edit it because I saw after he had that first conversation with you, the video did not go up immediately. And then after that he had conversations with people and he put those videos up almost immediately. And so well, I thought he that put it he up was because I, I I confronted him about it. But didn't you say to someone, which was me, that you were gonna play post that video? He, he he only he, he did want to upload it, you know, but, but he had to act. Look, he look he had to do his little. Um, see, this is the trend that a lot of these unbelievers are doing. They're paying a fee, excuse me, to um, what do you call the? Uh, is it generative generative AI? Well, yeah. it, it'll it'll create an image for you. So, it, it was an image created to to mock me. The, the guy is the guy's not just wrong. The guy's not just incompetent philosophically, but he's he's just also cringe. I mean, he's so slippery and devious and deceitful that I mean, all you have to do is just watch him on his own videos. Just just his face. You you he, he, he just exudes creepiness and deceptiveness. Does oh baby, I forgot about this. I didn't realize there was more. We might get to ten after all, you guys. Okay. A nine point nine point nine nine point nine. Well, I I'm I'm listening to this. I don't know whether we're gonna get to ten or not. We're gonna find out together. I'm kind of excited. Does he have an initial opening statement in which he sort of uh, preps the audience, where he does like a preemptive damage control? A little control? bit, yeah, yeah. He does try to do damage control, but he only uploaded it because I confronted him about it. Am I having memory problems? No, you didn't. You did mention it to one of your friends after I was muted. You mentioned in passing that I hadn't uploaded yet. But, I mean, and here's the thing. I don't care what you think. And you don't control my uploads. Nor do you control my upload schedule. I upload whatever I want. Yeah, 
And I was wondering, I figured, it, I actually thought he would never do it. He said, yeah, to me, with an exclamation point, as if, you know, of course I'm going to. And then I see video after video going up that were recorded yeah. after, even after yours. You, even after you said that, he didn't do it right away. Yeah, and, and, and he's posting he, videos. It's not like he had a backlog, because he's posting videos of conversations that up, I know happened after your conversation with him. It only went up days after I confronted him, and that is after... You first asked him if he was going to upload it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then he never – okay, I waited. I don't know how many days I waited, but I waited. Yeah, it was a couple weeks. Wait yeah, I would say that, yeah. I think that's a fair statement. Maybe so, even close yeah. to a month. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's spreading it's far. Wow, it really seems like they're belaboring this point. Like they really want to be on my channel, even though they're complaining about being on my channel. Like, look, guys, if you want to be on the internet, record yourselves. It's not up to – you know, you don't leave it to me to do it. But – in terms of the, oh, he was waiting so long to upload this thing, I think I'll let my good friend, Lieutenant Pete Mitchell, call sign Maverick, express my sentiments on that matter. I will fire when I am goddamn good and ready. You got that? But the guy, the guy is cringe, and, uh... Darth, I don't think I can justify giving myself much of a bump for that one, like... You said that already. Um, you know, you're going to have to express your hate for me in a, you know, in a different way in order to justify another bump. I think we're still at 9.9, .9, guys. He, he, he completely forfeited any, how shall I put it, um, good grace that I would bestow to him by his icky behavior. Anyway, I'll be back. So you've been being nice to me up until now? This is polite, Darth? Well, you know, I look forward to the future then because I, you know, yeah, I look forward to getting to 10. And you guys, we're going, we're going to have to stay tuned and you know, you have to send me videos of him talking about me and see if we can get to 10. I mean, I think it's, you know, it's a tough job, but like if anybody can, if anybody can, can do it with the sufficient vitriol, it's this guy. Let's, let's see what happens. I'm, I'm fascinated. I'm riveted. You know, let's find out what happens next. All right, later.